Does Toyota really believe that there is no demand for EVs or electric vehicles if you guys have been living under a rock? I'll see you on the other side and let's get into it. Over at electric.co, interview with Toyota sales and marketing chief says there's no demand for EVs. This is a super strange interview. This guy, Jack Hollis, he is the marketing and market representation for Toyota North America. He wears many hats. He looks like Chris Mullen, if you guys know old school NBA. So they had a behind the scenes interview with this guy at the LA Auto Show. When asked about Toyota's plans for pure EVs, their strategy is efficiency. Their, in my opinion, their strategy is profitability, but we'll get into that later. So he goes to say their engines are second to none. They are developing all four powertrains that's ev fuel cell plug-in and hybrid they did hybrid first all of these are part of the plan but doing them in order of the consumer demand and when you look at it the demand for electric is less than it is on hybrid we are continuously working on ev entries but right now there is no demand for that if you guys want to read about his statements uh, and the questions about the california emission standards go ahead and read that that's like for me being a dead horse i've already made a couple videos about it instead we're going to go into the more juicier things in la we've seen remarkable news about electrification of the Mustang and Volkswagen boldly going into pure electrification. Why does Toyota see things so differently? Well, he thinks Volkswagen didn't have a choice uh, because of Dieselgate, they went full electric. I don't, then he says, I don't think there's any proof in the marketplace that there's a demand for EVs. Every company has to make that decision. In regards to Ford, he's glad that Ford's doing it. They're putting the Mustang name on it. He knows that's important for marketing. And he said, Ford is abandoning sedans and putting those resources towards electric vehicles. But he says, I happen to be with Toyota, so I believe it's the right choice to invest in all powertrains. So question is, your point is to move where there's demand. I'm not seeing consumer demand for fuel cells, but you're fully behind that. There's more demand for pure electric vehicles. How do you know that there's more demand for electric than fuel cells? It's like hybrid when we started. There was a logic behind what a customer needs and how customers use vehicles. Would a person rather have to charge for three hours or fuel the vehicle in five minutes? The rebuttal was at this point with 150 kilowatt charging and higher, we're getting close to highway fueling times that match gas cars, 15 to 20 minutes rather than five minutes. And of course, home charging is a thing, but he didn't get a chance to talk about it because he got cut off by Chris Mullen, or I mean, Jack Hollis. So in regards to the charging times, that could be true. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen research and that proves it yet. The use of battery seems to be an area that the industry is looking into before the customer is ready. Toyota believes that we need to be able to go step-by-step -step, gasoline to hybrid to plug into fuel cells to electric. This is an issue here, the fuel cells. I will talk more about that at the end, but this logical progression, there's a reason why they believe it. Will electric be the last one to roll out from Toyota. Electric and fuel cell are being studied at the same speeds as we studied hybrids. They will be developed at the same speed. All this is still being developed. Are you aware that there will be 100 pure EV nameplates in the market in the next five years? Jack Hollis says, I know it, it could end up being awesome or everyone could be fighting over 2% market share. Look at all the competitors out there. I don't know their financials, but it doesn't look like anyone's making money on electric vehicles. There's an element of demand based on mandates. Look at Norway. I don't think the US free economy is ever going to be that way. I think the US free economy is always going to continue to be very much consumer driven demand. So the last question was, so at some point, if it ever happens, you'll be ready to switch to battery electric vehicles. When I see that the capabilities the of the tech technology, be a battery uh, electric vehicle or fuel cell, I get excited because I think the consumer will end up winning, but that's later. It's just not this second. I'm a passionate believer in Toyota's ability to solve problems. If the problem that we need to solve is the demand for electric vehicles, we will be there. Okay, so yesterday, before making this video, I wanted to know if there was a demand for EV. So I made a poll on my channel. Uh, let me refresh the page. There might be some more votes. We're at 132 votes. Let's see. Do we get a little bit more votes? Let's zoom down. 136. Okay, more votes came in. No demand for EVs is the topic for my next video based off an interview with the Toyota exec. Well, let's take a poll of the luxurious fleet. Is there interest in demand for, for EVs from Toyota and Lexus? 136 votes of some of the most passionate Toyota and Lexus fans out there. Roughly half say they would buy a Toyota EV immediately if it was available now and soon. That is highly contrary to what Jack Hollis was saying is that there's no demand. 
Another good 27% of you say eventually, uh, right now I'm more interested in pH, EV, so plug-in electric hybrid and regular hybrids. And then a lot of you old schoolers out there, no, never rev up your engine, Scotty, Kilmore style. So there's a lot of good comments here. I will share uh, one from one of my readers, uh, Mike Wellington. Why am I sharing it from him? He owned a Tesla Model S and while it was quick maneuverable, he doesn't think it's quite ready for prime time yet. He said superchargers are almost always backed up with wait times and from 0% to 90, it's not 30 minutes, it's more like 45 minutes. He said gas stations are so much more convenient for him. It only takes five minutes and there are so many along the way for, for his daily commute that he doesn't have to worry nearly about nearly as much about charging and things like that. He said his was rated at 265 miles on 100% charge. In cold climates, you can slash that an immediate 30%. He said there's no reason a car should cost that much. Well, he's talking about the $100,000 Tesla Model S. Sure, while it's great you're not using gas, but to spend $100,000 to be able to say that is asinine. So Toyota and Lexus hybrids are bulletproof of taking care of and get anywhere up to 50 miles to the gallon and cost way less. Registration costs are skyrocketing. People are starting to tax them more uh, to register the vehicle. He says though, there will be a time in the future for electric vehicles. And that's when there are as many as the quick 15 minute charger stations as there are gas stations and he believes EVs need a 500 plus mile range and frigid cold weather, worst case scenario. Ask him how he knows. I don't want to ask because it's probably a sad story. So I told him, hey man, I'm gonna use your comment. There's a lot of other comments, guys, uh, from this article here that I wanted to share as well, and then we'll hit back to the camera and kind of sum up this very confusing article from Toyota. In the extended family, we switched Lexus to Model X, Yaris to Leaf, Prius to Model 3, and RAV4 to Model Y is in the works. Don't worry, Toyota, there is no demand. For now, Tesla is forcing a market shift. I've had my Model S for a month. I've already talked to six random strangers about going EV, cost charging, etc. Toyota has to react with an EV. Tesla now has two factories, building more. Research shows if you tell one person, it, right, it's in the other pyramid scheme <laughs> it's just word of mouth or you'd call it the gospel where they tell one person the gospel spread so there is an ev gospel going on out there it, it is happening uh but is it still ready for prime time is the question i have to chime in with my support for this comment i had entertained the idea of a lexus hybrid but no more i'm taking that buying power to tesla or volvo next fall if i were to stick with an ice unlikely i'd go honda because it does not oppose the california standards this is how big companies go bankrupt, willful, ignorance, focus on how the market was or is instead of what it will be. I've given up waiting for a Lexus EV to replace my nine year old 230,000 mile Lexus hybrid, contemplating a Tesla Model 3 rear wheel driver waiting for the Mach E rear wheel drive. And then one last uh, pro Toyota argument before I head back. They have seen others struggle to find profitability in the EV space and have determined that battery costs are just too high. Battery costs are falling and the charging infrastructure is improving. They feel that another advance in battery technology is needed to drive the switch from internal combustion engine. They're developing this with Panasonic. The interesting thing is that Panasonic, a major battery maker, sees a brighter future with Toyota rather than Tesla. Okay, so is there really no demand? Of course there is demand. Look at my poll. There is demand for the vehicle, but why are they downplaying it so heavily? Profits. They don't have a profitable way to be able to make EVs. And they say, and the guy mentions, no one is very profitable with EVs yet. So they are playing it very, very safely, very cautiously. That's typical Toyota Lexus. They are super conservative. They will, they play the long game. They're not, they're not eager to get in the EV market. A lot of people are like, oh, it's too late. Guys, they know exactly what they're doing. They're playing conservative. Money is the most important thing. If they are not profitable in the here and the now, it's not gonna make sense down the road either. Okay, so two, they only have 2% of the market for EVs right now. So Lexus and Toyota, they're catering to the 98% of the market. Now, why is the market only 2%? Well, it's 2% because the big automakers really aren't making a very compelling product. And the reason is it's expensive, very expensive. They don't wanna make a vehicle that they can't 100% stand behind. There are too many compromises for Toyota and Lexus right now. They are a company of trying to have the perfect car for the here and the now. And that perfect car to them for an EV would be 500 plus miles of range, 
15 minutes of charging, huge infrastructure, inexpensive batteries, and motors so that they can make a profit on the EV vehicle that they would be making. So there's a lot of reasons why they're saying no demand. It's because it's not the technology is not ready for mass production yet. What is ready for mass production, and they've been doing a long time, is hybrids. The next step for them is plug-in hybrids. They are slowly getting their way up to fully EV. Yes, would I want them to have an EV right now? Hell freaking yes. All of us would, it, well at least a lot of us, 50 to 75% of us in the poll that I posted would like to have an EV here and now. The thing is, they don't wanna make a product that's, that doesn't live up to their standards. What about fuel cell? Fuel cell, no one else really is talking about fuel cell. There's a couple other companies, Hyundai and Kia, they are talking about fuel cell. Fuel cell makes a ton of sense for big heavy machinery. You can have a much lighter tank for hydrogen and have a lot more range than compared to a very heavy, huge battery pack that you put in something like a semi or an 18 wheeler. Well, I don't know what you guys call them around the world, mass, massive transport trucks. So the range on fuel cells is really, really good. The fueling time is really, really good. Five minutes, it's like a normal gas fill up. That's all it takes compared to EVs, which could be a half an hour to an hour. Problem with fuel cells, at least for the time being, is that there's no infrastructure. I have no issue with the technology. I think the technology is actually pretty good. Um, it is very similar to the current situation right now. It will give you about the same range as fuel, or at least gasoline and diesel. It'll give you about the same range. Um, fueling time is about the same. The problem is there's just no infrastructure. For fuel cell to survive, it needs to have widespread infrastructure. And the only way that that is going to happen is if the gasoline and oil companies rapidly expand with this sort of thing. Infrastructure for EVs is there. It's yes, we do need a definitely a beefed up power grid. We definitely need to have more power going in the system. There are a lot of issues with the current power grid to be able to support a, a huge fleet of electric vehicles, but people can just plug them in at home. So there's a big, big advantage there that no other fueling source has right now. And is Toyota losing customers? Yeah, there's no doubt they're losing customers, but this is the 2% that they're not super concerned about right now. They know as time goes on, they know how to produce a very high quality vehicle with little to no compromise. We just hope it doesn't too, it isn't too late. And no one wants, no one who watches my channel really wants Toyota to have this backfire on them that they aren't uh, preparing well enough but they are a very smart company. They wouldn't be in the position they're in right now if they weren't a very smart company. And a lot of people are like, oh, what about Kodak? What about Blockbuster? All these companies didn't get with the times. You have to realize that Toyota is investing billions and billions of dollars in EV technology as well as fuel cell technology. They can make an EV. That's, it's not hard to make an EV. It is, I repeat, it is not hard to make a decent EV. Issue is profitability. And that's really what it comes down to in the here and the now. And that's why in the next Tokyo game, or the Tokyo games, the Olympic games in Tokyo uh, in 2020, they're gonna be debuting their solid state battery. They believe that is the next jump that needs to take place in order for EVs to be viable and that Toyota can confidently put their stamp on an EV. Before I let you guys go, lastly, what about the Lexus UX 300E? Well, they needed to have that vehicle in the here and the now and it is gonna be an awesome vehicle. The sad thing is, is I probably won't be able to drive it, right? I would have to go to China or Europe to be able to drive and give you my impressions, which I'd love to do. I'm just not there yet as a channel. Support me on Patreon, let's make it happen. The UX 300E is something that they took an existing platform, modified it, and it's gonna be a very competitive vehicle. There's no doubt about it. So they're working on electric only platforms. Once that happens, guys, watch out. Toyota and Lexus will be a force to be reckoned with. I'm not worried about them, but as you guys, just like me, I saw you in the poll, you would love to have an EV right now. I would too, so, so much. It's not profitable or viable for ma mass production right now for the company. I can't wait to see what you guys say in the comments below. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you haven't already. Patreon supporters, you guys rock. If you guys wanna support me over there, I would love it, really appreciate it. It'll allow me to make better videos higher quality. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Until next time, peace out.